Hi, I'm Sophie Knight, Visuals Editor at Condé Nast Traveller. What do you use this for? And I'm Catherine Sohn, Travel and Lifestyle Writer and Condé Nast Traveller Contributor. And this is our favourite London neighbourhood, Shoreditch. I've lived in Shoreditch for four years now and still find myself stumbling over new hidden gems every day. So here are some of our favourite local Shoreditch spots for you to check out. Spitterfield Market is a buzzing East London destination. It's great for pop-up street food, vintage stalls and cool quirky art. Come here for Clemson's and Sons coffee bar. A tiny matchbox of a stall that serves deliciously smooth coffee to take away. I'm going to go for an ice latte, please. Could I please have an oat milk latte? Oh, can I have oat milk as well, please? one of the best lattes I've had in London. Plus they've got espresso martini and nitro cold brew on tap. Brick Lane runs from Bethnal Green and through Spitalfields down towards Whitechapel. And it's one of the most popular places to visit in the East End today. The street is famous for local curry houses and all-night bagel shops that line it from top to bottom. On the corner of Shoreditch High Street is Smoking Goat, one of London's best Thai restaurants, inspired by the late-night canteens of Bangkok. Prepare to wait. It's a pro walk-in restaurant often filled with a cool young crowd who show up just for a taste of the spice-filled labs. I love their cocktails, especially the goat's head soup with mezcal, melon, lime and egg white. They also do amazing sharing cocktails for three people. Oh, I could down these. All right, let's go. Oh, are these the wings? These are wings. Oh, they look good. You'll want to order everything. It's perfect for a lunch feast with friends or a booze-filled late night supper. Further down on Redchurch Street is Labour and Wait. It's one of my favorite shops in London not only because of the beautiful pine green tiles outside, but because of its carefully curated and crafted selection of lifestyle goods. There's just so many brushes, like <laughs> what do you use this for? For an extensive collection of brushes, most of which I do not know the purpose of, to Japanese knives, bread tins, gardening tools and roll neck jumpers. It's a fantastic place for curious gifts and home necessities. Can I measure you? Yeah. Yeah. 178. Nice. Grown an inch. Happy. It wouldn't be a trip east without a smoke filled feast at Brat. It's one of my all time favorite restaurants in London, and I can't help but return for a dose of Chef Thomas Perry's food. It specializes in cooking on an open flame and even managed to score a Michelin star within six months of opening in 2018. You're instantly hit with the heat from the kitchen as you walk in. It's always fun to watch the grill masters flip flaky fish in French grills or peeping in the oven for a glimpse of the famous burnt cheesecake. Trust your waiter, they won't lead you astray. And come with a group, you want doubles of everything, plus a delicious and interesting wine to pair. The real star of the show though is the flaky John Dory. It's a buttery umami plate of goodness, especially matched with a side of crushed garlicky smoked potatoes and wood roasted greens. The cheesecake is no easy feat. Oh, and order the olive oil ice cream. It's a salty sweet combo that shouldn't work, but really, really does. I want the ice cream to go. I want that forever, every day. Well, I'm going to turn into a cheesecake. I want another cheesecake. <laughs> a hop, skip and a jump further into Shoreditch is wine bar and bottle shop Passione Vino, and its name just about sums it up. So ladies, welcome in Passione Vino. I mean, this is the Italian wine place, and nothing short than that. So I just need to understand more or less the flavor that you like, the style that you like. 
wine buff and legendary host Lou Caduce opened the secret little three-floor boat hole on Leonard Street in 2013. I love a natural one, like a, a sort of mm, really organic kind of. Uh, a little bit more funky. Yeah, a little funky, a little fresh. Stuff. The concept here is simple. It's all about wine you never knew you liked, based on flavors you prefer or don't prefer. And Luca will cater each bottle to your taste. So I need to shock them and I need to teach them about rosé. For me. But don't come here if you don't like wine, because it's all it sells. From a dangerously drinkable unfiltered Prosecco to a coppery orange rosé. For the non-wine drinker, and for the beer only, I don't like you wine, I've got the one and only, the uh, Prosecco Sotoriva from a small producer, it's called Malibran. Once you drink this Prosecco, you will have changed your perceptions and view and liking of Prosecco forever. I'm not even mad about wine, but was quickly swayed by Luca's enthusiasm and determination to convert me. Oh, that is good. Yeah, excellent. It's I better than your you. six pound Tesco, <laughs> for sure. Cheers. They also cook up delicious homemade small plates, some inspired by Luca's hometown of Verona. Expect freshly made pasta pomodoro or Veneto style polpette that perfectly matches your wine. Cheers to converting me. Are you converted? Yep. Job done. <laughs> you made my day. There's no shortage of cool things to do in Shoreditch. From finding the best art-filled streets, my favourites being Chance, Ebor and Rivington, to snapping pics of London's oldest streets. Cheers. Cheers. It's our favourite neighbourhood. It's our favourite neighbourhood.